At the edge of the city park lies the historic spring by which the first settlers of Stockton, Missouri built their cabin. In the midst of beauty, it was still the western frontier and required a mindset of pioneer living. This spring still inspires appreciation of what nature is constantly giving. It's, it's wonderful to see this spring and know that as far as what would later become Stockton, um, what's become Cedar County, um, that it was all formed around this spring because obviously the need for water was so great. But we have to remember that there were people that were living here long before that as well that took advantage of the spring and of the river. Um, certainly the, the uh, Sac Indians and the Osage Indian tribes, um, I believe even the Fox tribes were around here. And as we um, celebrate the birth of our town, we need to also remember that this has been home to people for many, many, many years. And surely they did take advantage of this spring, and it was now, it has now been 162 years since the, the first settler, Zimtree Crabtree, actually came and built a residence on this area. We are now at the foot of the bluff. We're, two, we're a block from the Stockton Square to the north, two blocks from the, where the courthouse is, but it was here at this bottom of this bluff, at this spring, because of this spring, that the first settler came to this area. Very soon after that, uh, after Zimtree Crabtree had settled here, uh, another uh, person came and settled and created a general store here by the spring that same year, and basically Stockton was off and running. Um, is there a way that you can zoom in to show that we really are looking at, at a, um, an opening in a limestone cave that is under this area that doesn't look like a bluff today? It, it's landscaped. It's, you know, dirt's been brought in. There's a beautiful apartment building up there. But in reality, this sits on a limestone bluff, and there is a cave under there, and that's the source, of course, of the water of the spring. Well, let's, let's move down and see if we can. I was a little worried, I, just as I was finished talking, and you were pointing, and you were saying, is there any way we could... I'm thinking to myself, she wants me to crawl in there? <laughs> no. It would really be fun if you would crawl in there. Well, let's see what we can get here. Um, well, this structure is beautiful, but obviously it's man-made. And if you can look under, you can see that it really is just a, well, not just, but it is a limestone cave. Ooh. Oh, I swore I wouldn't crawl in here. <laughs> You're doing a fine job, Tom. Just remember to breathe and keep your head above water. Okay, time for recovery. You know, there's a part of me that's still a kid, and I just can't help myself. Knowing this is a spring, knowing that it's coming out of the cave, I've just got to taste the water. Oh, it's cold. And it's delicious. And wow, what a stage it is. This beautiful little stage on a bluff by the river above a wonderful spring. What a glorious and marvelous stage that we get to call home. I'm not drinking the water! Well, just a little bit. I'm not drinking the water! Why not? Just a little bit.